Hi Water Signs, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you for tuning into your reading. Uh, next 48 hours, we'll be having a look what the tarot cards can reveal for you that may happen in your love life in the next couple of days. Please remember these are general messages. Um, keep an open mind and an open heart. Um, hopefully there is something here that resonates with your love situation. Um, so this is for water signs, but it can be for the cross watchers who are dealing with a water sign um, as well. So let's have a look. Okay, water signs, you've got a Leo and a Taurus that have come up around you. So you may be dealing with one of these signs. The card that sits in the middle um, is the Four of Swords. So this is a, a, a message here of something you've recently laid to rest. So if it's a relationship or you've gone no contact or you've separated or you've been through a breakup, I think the overall message here for you is that there's a lot of calm or there's a lot of thinking that's, that's happening right now. You might be processing a lot of things that are going on around you, water signs, because it's showing your inner air energy. So you're thinking a lot of things. Um, you might be thinking about the past um, you might be sort of observing your present or imagining the future. But regardless of where you are, there's like, he's sort of spent out an energy. So your energy levels might not be the same. And that's because there's something here that, you know, is, is really occupying your thoughts. Now, there's a lot of cards that have come up and they're very different. Um, there is a very strong love connection that's around you or that will be around you. Um, or there's someone that you're in love with. You know, the King of Pentacles is ruled by Venus. So we've got this... Venus is the goddess of love, of, of romance. So you could potentially be in a very romantic phase. It may be calm right now, but things may pick up, so don't fret. Uh, but what I want to say is for some of you, I feel like there's, um, you might be starting to get possessive or jealous over your loved one or a certain situation. You know, you've got the strength card here, so you might be trying to be strong in a situation, um, or there's a very strong connection coming your way. But notice the roar of the lion. And this is um, qualities of Leo. So we've got pride, we've got respect, we've got leadership, we've got dominance, you know, possessiveness. And I say with the nine of wands, because look at this card, he's like trying to camouflage himself and like spy, like try to go unnoticed. So water signs, you might try to be spying on someone. Maybe you're trying to be under the radar. You're not trying to attract too much attention. Um... You know, maybe you're in a new connection and you're just not that invested. Maybe someone else has your thoughts or your feelings. Um, it could also be that you're maybe spying on someone. You know, you're not trusting of your person, maybe. Um, they might be out and about. You might, might end up following them. Maybe you're spying on them on social media. There may be something going on that's a little bit cheeky. And you're like trying to suss out the situation. Like, what are they doing? Where are they at? Who are they with? Um, you know, because we've got the lion and we've got the bull. So obviously... You're charging ahead. Um, fire energy here, um, especially on this side. So I don't know if this is more for those that are dealing with fire sign, Aries, Sag, Leo. Either way, if you're not dealing with a fire sign energy, we've got fire on one side and then we've got actually earth on the other. So Taurus, Cap, Virgo, and then you've got air in the middle. Um, but look, he's taking like the bull by the horns and this can be like an analogy of taking control of your love life or taking control of a situation where you've sort of let go. So there may be a message here, water signs, that you need to take initiative. Remember, you need to have the strength of the lion. You need to take initiative in a certain situation. Um, maybe you need to tell someone how you feel. Maybe you need to pull, up, pull them up on behavior. Maybe you need to be the first one to break the ice. There's something here that you're still holding on to. The, the four of pentacles is indicating that Notice how he clings to the pentacle. You're still holding on to something. Now, there's two fours in your reading. And four is a number of um, working on yourself, your self-goals, self-preservation, self-love, and, and all those sorts of things. So you might be focusing on yourself a lot. You might have the time to focus on yourself. Or maybe there's a message here to put your wants first. What do you want out of life, out of love, out of your person? What is it that's going to bring you the most fulfillment? Why? Nine. Nine is a number of fulfillment, of endings. So if you've recently gone through an ending, maybe that's why you've got all this time to yourself to think and reflect, do things for you. Um, even if you've had just like a minor separation here as well. But you, you might be clinging here with the Four of Pentacles. Sometimes the Four of Pentacles is like 
He knows what he's got and it's worth holding on to. Maybe you're realizing the value of what a person brought into your life and maybe you need a distance and time to realize that. Maybe something has happened, maybe something traumatic, maybe something good has happened between the both of you and it's made you feel really good about love. You know, what comes to mind when I see this, like this King of Pentacles acting this way, is, um, you know how we, we're, we're in love and we act crazy and we do things that we wouldn't normally do? It could be that as well. What comes to mind is that episode on Oprah when like Tom Cruise was being interviewed by Oprah and then he, about Katie Holmes and he was just ecstatic. He was so in love and it was just written all over his face and he jumped up on the couch. I don't know if anyone remembers that, but that's the kind of vibe I get with this King of Pentacles. So what are signs that kind of love is coming? Okay, it might have been already been in your life. You might have lost it. You might be waiting for it. You might be reflecting and praying and wishing for it. But I think, you know, hold on to that because a, a lot that can, there's a lot that can happen here. Um, but I want to say he's got control of the bull. So it's actually like you have control over your love life right now. But you might be choosing in the middle here, you might be choosing not to do anything. This is not acting. This is not speaking. This is just sort of sitting down and reflecting. So you have the power to change your circumstances, water signs. But you're choosing to stay still. You're choosing to be one with yourself. Um, or you're choosing to maybe sort of go under the radar, disappear for a while. Maybe you're getting rid of your social media accounts. Maybe you're distancing yourself from your person. Maybe you're not dating because you just, you know, you're sick of that. Or, you know, maybe you're drawing away from your person. You're withdrawing from your loved one. Um, that could be the kind of energy. But look, the nine would indicate you're not going to be in there for long because after the nine comes ten. Ten essentially becomes one. And that's a new beginning, a new phase, a new cycle. So, you know, that's that's good because you have eight and nine here. And they're high numbers. So that would indicate you're coming into that next phase, um, next phase of your love life. But you know, see how these swords are imprinted in the ground? Something's been imprinted on your mind. Maybe a thought, a conversation, a person, a memory. But it's something that maybe you keep recycling, that you keep going back to. And maybe you have to relive that memory or that conversation or that thought or that comment or that remark. Maybe it's something you have to still take time to process here. So um, do that in time. I think things will, you know, become more clearer and you'll be able to take charge of this beautiful love connection that you have uh, around you, water signs. So a uh, really beautiful reading. I do hope you have enjoyed that. Thank you again so, so much. <clears throat> Please don't forget to like, share and subscribe. And hopefully we shall be in touch uh, tomorrow. So thanks again, everyone. Bye for now.